Guys, welcome back. It is Racer X, and I am back with my good buddies here at the Hearst Autoplex, uh, basically because you guys have asked me to do a review on a very unique vehicle. It's been kind of in the background of a couple of the reviews I've done here, and uh, so essentially by popular demand, I am going to give you a review on what I consider the beast, and you guys will find out exactly what this thing is here momentarily. It should be a really fun review on a very unique vehicle. Also, guys, um, if you're new to my channel, do me a gigantic favor. Uh, hit that little subscribe button down there at the bottom. I've got all sorts of really cool stuff coming up for you this year. It's going to be a fantastic year, a lot of fun. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. So here we go. <laughs> we got the thousand horsepower helmet. So my apologies for the wind. I did my best to tuck this thing back in a corner where the wind wouldn't affect me too bad, but this thing is enormous. <laughs> so anyway, without any further ado, I just want to show you what this thing is. So take a look behind me. <laughs> look, look at this thing. That is the Rhino GX. Yes, I'd never seen one of these before. Uh, like I said, there. this is for sale up here at the Hearst Autoplex in Hearst, Texas. They don't make very many of these, and this is actually a vehicle that is made in California. So I wanna uh, kinda walk around this thing and tell you a little bit about it. This is from a company called US Specialty Vehicles. As I mentioned, they are out of California. So I just wanna give you just a real quick second to sort of take everything in here <laughs> because um, when you look at this, you really haven't seen anything else out there like it. It looks almost like a military style vehicle. And uh, obviously you've got this uh, kind of cow guard right up front here, which is really heavy duty. This entire thing is basically covered in sort of that, uh, like a rhino skin basically. And that's why this thing is actually called the Rhino. So as you look at this, first of all, the tires on this thing are massive. They're 37. So, I mean, it's like military sized tires on this. Um, and as you will notice, you're looking at the windows here, which are very, very different than you've seen on other vehicles. So this thing actually started life as an F450 uh, pickup truck. And then of course, uh, this thing has been sort of highly modified. They took one of the axles out. So now you're basically looking at two axles, but uh, look at all the stuff going on here. Actually, as you look at the top, you can see you've got a handle there now i don't know if it's going to do you any justice but this thing actually sits way up there um, higher than the trx actually i reviewed and uh, it's got lights along here it, this is just a wild machine check out how wide the fender flares are on this beast <laughs> it's, it's just an insane looking thing and uh right here ussv and you can see that rhino there that of course is their uh, their signature logo uh for us specialty vehicles but everything on this thing is super heavy duty super heavy duty axles i mean this thing has gone through a complete transformation check out the back windows in this once again you've got lighting here you got lighting up on top and uh, just the side profile of this thing is insane. Now the mirrors do look traditional, uh, like an F450 uh, pickup, but you can see this thing's even got steps here. So when you get in, because it does sit really, really high, uh, once again, lights on the side. I mean, this thing really does look like something out of Mad Max to me. Now, as we look at the side profile of the Rhino here, I mean, check out how big these doors are. They're absolutely massive. I mean, just the entire side profile of this thing is massive. So, and I, like I said, it does have the steps here. Now, this thing actually features a hydraulic suspension that is uh, that is self-leveling. It also has a 20 gauge steel body underneath this thing. So, I mean, it is very hardcore. As a matter of fact, you can actually order this thing uh, to be bulletproof if you wanted to. This particular one, I don't believe is, but I think you can actually order it this way. So, I mean, it absolutely means business. Another quick item of note on the uh, Rhino here, it actually has a spot for a, a hitch actually right here in the front and then of course as you go to the back i mean everything on this thing is very beefy guys it, like when you get underneath it <laughs> you really get a gauge of just how beefed up this joker is but you can see also you've got a, a towing hitch here um everything on this thing is just just massive so as we get under here you can look to see uh just how incredibly beefed up the bottom of this <laughs> vehicle is it is extremely stout 
Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the inside of the Rhino GX. And there are some very unique bits to the inside of this thing as well. So obviously as we get uh, as we get in here, you can see this is not a traditional F450 interior. Um, you're seeing these little insignia things all over the place on the inside of this, but quite a nice two-tone leather on the seats. Very comfortable to sit in. As you can see, they do the same thing kind of with the steering wheel. Uh, they, they do kind of like this brown trim. Of course, you've got brown trim here in the middle as well. Now, one of the features that I noticed right away was that the entire uh, roof of this vehicle, which is enormous, obviously, is made of suede, which is uh, very soft and it's actually quite nice. So if you like the suede thing, you will really like this. Uh, as with all uh, F450s, it's got this gigantic like center area that you can also kind of fold up. And uh, once again, on the doors, you can see you do have that two-tone, once again, USSV right there in the door. And as we jump over to the back, the seats in here are kind of wacky because it looks like <laughs> it looks like you have to sit kind of with your uh, with your feet straight out in front of you. But you can see you do have some nice controls right there at the ready, and uh, there are some other really interesting things. But actually, when you sit in these, it's actually pretty darn comfortable having your feet out in front of you because there's so much room between the seat and uh, and the seat in front of you. So it actually is it's more comfortable than it looks. So uh, actually, I'll jump in here and give you a look at that. So from the back seat, I can basically stretch my legs completely out. <laughs> <laughs> you almost lay in this like lawn chair style and uh, of course the driver uh, side is obviously way up there so a lot of room in the back of this even though it looks like the seats were just kind of <laughs> just kind of glued in here um, it actually is fairly comfortable now one other quick thing uh, this one also features a nice little uh, entertainment center here which uh, is quite handy for uh, long trips now, in order to get into the back of the Rhino, you got a couple of steps, obviously. You've got a little pin here. Hopefully, it doesn't explode. So we'll get that out of there, and of course, we'll go ahead and lift up on this. We'll go ahead and lift this out of the way, which is not the lightest thing in the world, but it's okay. And then we'll go ahead and pop this open so I can give you a quick look at what it looks like from the back. Uh, so uh, now we'll get in here. You can see everything in here is just kind of that two-tone, which is sort of nice. Um, and you know, you've got a couple of like other things in here, cup holders and so forth. So uh, speakers right up here. And as you can see, there is that suede going all the way to the front, but there's a ton of room in the back of this. Like I said, it did start out uh, life as a huge pickup. So uh, the distance, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the distance between here and there is <laughs> it's pretty big. So a lot of room in the back of this vehicle. Another thing that I find kind of interesting, obviously, are these little steps here because, um, you know, at first glance, you would be like, oh, maybe that'll help you get in, obviously, but it's on, on the outside of the door, right? So as you, <laughs> as you open the door, uh, you know, well, there they go, right? So it does you no good to try and get in this, even though this thing sits up really high. You almost have to run and jump to get in this. It does sit up high, but uh, it's almost like you have to sit, or I'm, I'm sorry, stand here on that step, and then you can hold the bar up top. I guess maybe if you're like a member of SWAT or whatever, <laughs> Maybe they need to invest in these because that's the only thing I can think of is if you got people hanging on the outside of the vehicle, uh, definitely an interesting little touch. Now here is the driving position inside uh, the Rhino GX and uh, it does kind of feel a lot like maybe like a big pickup truck or an F450 which is exactly what it is. A little bit more luxurious on the inside. Obviously they've changed some things. You've got some two-tone bits here. Um, it does have uh, pretty much everything you would want here. Now as you look in the center section, you know, this obviously is just kind of a plastic brown trim here, uh, but you do have a very useful uh, infotainment center here. Obviously, it's Pioneer. Um, and then, of course, the vents in this thing work well. You can see, obviously, it was a Super Duty at one point. And then, of course, there is the uh, the passenger seat. Now, one thing I will tell you is when you look to the back, those seats are... <laughs> They're actually really far back, which is kind of interesting just how long this vehicle is from this angle. So, uh, anyway, an interesting place to sit for sure. So now I'm actually aboard uh, the Rhino GX. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just a nice, big, comfortable seat that I'm sitting in here. Uh, a lot of room between me and the passenger over here. Um, it's just a, a big, roomy car altogether, I should say, you know, SUV slash truck, <laughs> I guess is what you call this. It really does look like a military vehicle or something out of Mad Max on the outside. So if you like something that really stands out in a crowd, <laughs> This is it, because I have never seen another one of these on the road, and they just don't make very many. Matter of fact, they sell most of these over in China, which is where the uh, the owner uh, is from. So go figure. Now, driving around in the Rhino GX, I mean, you can feel just how big and wide and just 
massive this vehicle is. Um, but it is a kind of a weird driving experience because it is um, it is really smooth. And while I've never actually had the pleasure of driving a actual tank, um, I have to believe that this thing is kind of the closest thing to a cross between an Abrams tank and say a Lincoln. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it because it rides really smooth. But I mean, you can just feel that this thing has a serious presence about it. I mean, it, it is just a beast. I mean, as I'm driving around looking down at all the other vehicles around me um, and then trying to stay in between what look to be extremely narrow uh, but normal sized lanes, <laughs> you gotta be on your toes here. So this beast actually comes with a one of two different engines. You can either get a turbo diesel, which is a 6.7 uh, liter engine, or you can get a gasoline powered V10, which is what this one is, actually the more rare of the two. And uh, that one puts out somewhere around uh, like 385 horse and just a shade over 400 pound feet of torque, which by today's standards, it's not, at, you know, it's not hair raising or anything, but it definitely gets this uh, ginormous beast moving and uh, it feels more than adequate. This is definitely one of the more unique vehicles that I've ever had a chance to drive and review. Um, yeah, I've just never seen anything like this. I mean, it's like, oh yeah, well, you know, Racer X, that's an F450. No, it doesn't drive like an F450. Um, it, it just drives different and uh, it's not fast by any stretch of the imagination, but it's actually faster than you would think it would be, being this heavy. Um, obviously, if this was a bulletproof version, it would be a lot slower because then you'd have glass that's that thick. But uh, at any rate, um, it is an interesting vehicle just from a presence perspective. If you like something that is unique and looks like it should be in a magazine or in a movie, this is it. So in China, where they sell these, they actually make versions of this that have kind of like a partition in it, um, much like a limousine would be. So imagine this thing being your limousine. So I mean, I think the president should maybe rethink life and get one of these. So not only does this thing have a bunch of street cred and sort of look crazy, but it is very capable from an off-road perspective. I mean, you've got your uh, you've got your selector down here where you can actually select both four-wheel drive, uh, high and low. So if you wanted to do some off-roading in this, uh, it is more than capable of doing that and having some fun. But the ride in it is actually quite nice. I mean, you could easily take this on a long road trip, be extremely comfortable. It's got a great sound system in it. And um, I think it would be nice. Now, will it get the best gas mileage? No, it's not going to. It's just... It's massive, but um, I will say that you know this thing came out and started life as a $200,000, uh, basically a custom SUV, and uh, this one actually I believe is on sale for somewhere around 115, so almost half of that. This is actually a 2015 year model, but you just don't find these out there anywhere. Like I said, I've seen a lot of vehicles, but I've never seen one of these in person. I'll bet you if you pulled up outside your local drug dealer's house in one of these, it would be a surefire way to get everybody to vacate the premises immediately. <laughs> so my final thoughts on the Rhino GX. Well, first of all, it is one of the most unique vehicles that I've ever seen. I mean, it just is. I mean, granted, it's a custom vehicle, but um, there's something cool about this. I mean, you can't really go anywhere without getting a lot of attention and getting noticed in one of these. It's not tremendously fast. I wouldn't say it's overly refined, but it is a pretty nice place to sit in here, but it's got a lot of off-road capability, and um, it's pretty darn comfortable for a lot of people, and it's pretty um, utility in terms of like all the stuff you can do with it, because there's still a ton of room back in the back of this. Um, now, I wouldn't go rubbing up against it. I think you might lose some skin doing that. But um, it, is a, uh, it is a very uh, cool machine, and um, simply you're just not going to see many of these on the road. Well, you asked and I delivered. It is the uh, Rhino GX from U.S. Specialty Vehicles. It is just a wild machine, as you can see. It really does look like it belongs in some sort of a movie. So <laughs> this thing is for sale here at the Hearst Autoplex. So give these guys a shout if this is something that interests you because it is just flat wild. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. I will catch you on the next one. So until then, Racer X.